This guy gave a cell phone to the forest. <laughs> That's right. He climbed up trees, pushed away the branches, and stuck cell phones to their trunks. And he did it so the forest can call anybody, anytime, anywhere. Why is the forest making phone calls? How is it supposed to use a phone in the first place? Is this guy a genius or is he crazy? In San Francisco, USA, let me introduce you to Topher White. Hi, Nas Daily. I'm Topher White, and I, along with my team around the world, give Rainforest a chance to call for help. Topher was an engineer who was traveling in the forests of Borneo, when one day he saw a group of men with giant chainsaws chopping off trees. These guys are what we call illegal loggers. They chop off rare trees to sell their wood. And on the black market, that wood can go for as much as $10,000 per kilogram. But of course, all this illegal logging is destroying forests and with it, it's also destroying the homes of thousands of animals. So when Tofer saw these loggers in action, he went to alert the police so they would arrest them. The forest has its own police. They're called rangers, and they're the ones in charge of protecting it. But the police told him they actually knew about the loggers. In fact, they had been trying to catch them for months. It's just that because the forest is so loud and so big, they could never hear them when they were chopping the trees. There's birds, monkeys, insects. They're all really loud, so you can't really hear anything else. And if they could hear the loggers, they could never really know for sure where they were until it was already too late. That's why. Topher figured that the forest needed a way to cry for help whenever it was in danger. Some kind of device to call the police. Kinda like a cell phone, but for the forests. So he decided to create just that. A cell phone for the forests. Human beings use smartphones all the time. It was high time we gave one to the forest. That's how Topher started taking old phones and tweaked them so they would automatically alert the police whenever there were chainsaw sounds. He would then put them on top of trees in weatherproof boxes so they wouldn't get wet and with solar panels so that the batteries could charge themselves. We installed hundreds of smartphone-enabled devices across the world's forests. It's a huge network. But at some point, the cell phones eventually died. So Topher and his team at Rainforest Connection upgraded them with more advanced devices with a lot more functions. The hardware and software in even yesterday's smartphones is truly powerful. But today, we can even upgrade that to include more functions so they last longer and we can learn even more about the forest. And now, with this new technology, the people at Rainforest Connection are ensuring the safety of the rainforest and all the animals that live in them. In the Sumatra Forest in Indonesia, in the Timbi Reserve in Brazil, the Alto Mayo Rainforest in Peru, and many more forests all around the world. The forests can't protect themselves, but at least now, thanks to Topher and these devices, they can just call out whenever they need our help. Change is gonna come!